Hello, America. I'm D. Rod Spencer. I'm out here in Los Angeles, California, El Segundo. And uh, I'm originally from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I came out here to get into the entertainment industry, you know, uh, be an actor. I'm proud to say that I've, uh, I've had a couple of roles in a couple of commercials, I've been in a sitcom, and I've even had a part in a low budget film. Now I'm really proud to say that uh, I finally landed a recurring role. That's right. I get to play a part of a limo driver. Every day. Every day. Or at least when they got some work for me. And since I never took it seriously, I opted to work for the small urban companies. Wait a minute, Black on. Better situation. So I thought. Come up in here and say, hey man, it's okay if I get one of them juices for my customer. I told you about coming in here with them wrinkled ass pants off a hanger too, man. Don't get me wrong, man. Hey, D. I do appreciate it. Hey, man. Uh, Randy said we gotta do the inspection. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll be doing, man. I'll be up there. I'm, I'm talking to America, man. You see, life as a limo driver can be very, very frustrating because you don't want to admit that you are working for that big tip. But you know, regardless of whether they tip you or not, you gotta still give them the best service. Well, are you gonna open the door or what? Even if they're assholes. I want coffee! No coffee, no tip! That's why I do this shit. Tips ain't nothing. Besides, a brother gotta eat. You feel me? Sam, man, motherfucker, when we get something to eat? Motherfucker hungry, man. Oh, shut up, nigga. I pay you to drive. I don't pay you to eat. Son of a bitch. Pay me minimum wage, son of a... Oh, I hate What you mumbling up shit. there, you son of a bitch? Ass. Motherfucking is, son of a bitch. It's okay, I drive this motherfucker to a mountain. We got a late call. Kid needs a ride. Granted, it is a client. You get a late call. Do the best you can to get there. What? Fifteen minutes? I just got to bed. You knew I just. It wasn't supposed to be. Oh.
I see people, some people just don't know how to act when they cut the camera. That's it. They think the camera's on them and they think all of a sudden they got to change up. It ain't even about them. It's all about me <laughs> and what I got to go through. But I guess in a sense, because we are all one, it's all about him. So it's what I put up with, people, America. <laughs>